make us one body with the living word of God. Make us one body with the living word of God. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Minor Basilican Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The tent, which was called the meeting tent, Moses used to pitch at some distance away, outside the camp. Anyone who wished to consult the Lord would go to this meeting tent outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, the people would all rise and stand at the entrance of their own tents watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses entered the tent, the column of cloud would come down and it stand at his entrance where the Lord spoke with Moses. On seeing the column of cloud stand at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and worship at the entrance of their own tents. The Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as one man speaks to another. Moses would return to the camp, but his young assistant Joshua, son of Nun, would not move out of the tent. Moses stood there with the Lord and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity, continuing his kindness for a thousand generations and forgiving wickedness and crime and sin, yet not declaring the guilty guiltless, but punishing children and grandchildren to the third and fourth generation for their father's wickedness. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find the favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people. Yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. So Moses stayed there with the Lord for forty days and forty nights without eating any food or drinking any water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known to his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvester, harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, for there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Paminamahala kapatid sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, isa po sa misteryo ng buhay natin ay ang pag-iral ng masama, the existence of evil. Bakit ba may mga masamang nangyayari sa ating buhay? Yung ikaw ay magkasakit, masama yan. Yung ikaw ay magkaroon ng malaking utang, hindi mo na mabayaran, masama yan. Yung magkaroon ka ng kagalit, masama yan. Makapagsinungaling, masama yan. Marami pang bagay na makikita nating masama sa buhay natin at sa ating kapaligiran. Paano po natin uunawain ang pag-iral ng kasamaan sa ating buhay? Sa so, po magitan ng pag-alam kung anong evil. St. Thomas Aquinas ay isa sa mga nagbigay ng definition kung anong evil. Sabi niya, evil is the lack of something or the dep deprivation of something good that ought to be in a human being or ought to be in a thing. Ang masama ay yung kawalan ng isang bagay na dapat ay nanduroon sa isang tao o sa, sa isang bagay. Halimbawa po, kailan natin sinasabing masama ang inyong ballpen o ang inyong pencil kapag ka hindi sumusulat, nawalan ng tinta, kasi dapat sumusulat ang ballpen natin, 
kailangan sumusulat ng ating pencil. Kung mawala na ng carbon, ang sabi natin, ang sama naman ng ballpen na ito. Ang sama naman ng lapis na ito. Ayaw sumulat. Kasi dapat meron siya nung katangian na kung bakit siya ay umiiral. Kailan natin sinasabi na masama ang isang estudyante. Abay, kapag ka nakita natin na hindi nag-aaral, kapag ka hindi nag-aaral, babagsak. Kapag ka panay ang bulakbol, kasi ang ating pagkakaintindi, ang isang estudyante dapat nag-aaral upang sa ganoon ay makapasa magandang grado. Kailan natin sinasabing masama ang isang anak? Abay, siguro maraming pagkakataon kapag ka bastos. Eh kasi alam natin, ang bata dapat marunong respeto. Kaya kapag ka isang anak sa kanyang magulang ay eh walang respeto, bastos, may masama. Ibig sabihin, kulang ng magandang asal. Kailan masama ang isang magulang? Kailan sasabihin sa atin na ang masama-sama niyo naman, nanay o tatay? Siguro kapag ka irresponsible, ano? Hindi tumutupad sa kanyang katungkulan. Kulang siguro sa palo, sa kusang pagkilos. Kapag ka hindi siguro nangangalaga doon sa kanyang mga anak, doon sa kanyang pamilya. Kasi inaasahan natin na dapat siya'y na marunong mga laga, responsableng tao. Pero kapag ka nawawala yung mga bagay na yun, tawag natin ay evil. Masama yung bagay na yun. Sa ating lipunan, kailan natin masasabing masama? Halimbawa ay sa pamunuan. Pagka nakita natin na hindi pinapatupad ang common good, ang kabutihan para sa lahat. Sapagkat ang ating inaasahan, ang namumuno sa atin ay tagapagpatupad ng kabutihan ng para sa lahat. Kapag kawala yun, tawag natin ay evil. Huwag na tayong lumayo pa. Kung titingnan po natin ang ating mga sarili, makikita natin na marami tayong pagkukulang. At yung ating pagkukulang, kapag ating pinunat pinansin, sinuri, kita natin that that is something evil, hindi po ba? Kakulangan natin sa pagtupad sa kung anong inaasahan sa atin. Kahit sa anumang larangan ng buhay, tayo nakapaloob. Maraming pagkakataon na hindi tayo nakakatupad sa ating responsibilidad. Kasamaan natin yon. Ang maganda sa definition na ito ay tinuturo sa atin na kung meron man tayong kasamaan na nakikita sa ating sarili, sa ating pamilya, sa ating kapitbahay, o sa ating bayan, ay hindi natin dapat laging isisisi sa demonyo. Kasi napakadaling isisi sa demonyo. Abay, kung meron kasamaan ang nangyayari sa buhay natin, limbawa ay wala tayong kalusugan, deprivation of health, sisisi natin sa demonyo. Abay, parang inaalisan natin ang ating sarili ng responsibilidad. Pwari sinasabi rin sa atin ni St. Thomas Aquinas, no? Na kung merong masama, tayong nakikita sa buhay natin at sa ating kapaligiran, tingnan natin ang ating sarili, baka tayo rin ang dahilan. Tayo yung mga taong dapat na responsable sa iba't ibang pangyayari sa ating buhay. Ang ating ibanghelyo sa araw na ito'y pangatlong beses na sa loob ng isang linggo. Tungkol sa masamang damo, nung biyernes yon, nung sabado yon, ngayon ito na naman, tungkol sa pagtubo ng mabuting, dam, mabuting panalim at masamang damo, laging magkasama at ayaw ng Panginoon na bunutin yung masamang damo sapagkat marahil, meron tayong matututunan doon sa masamang damo. Kapag ka nakita natin halimbawa, na mayroong masama sa lipunan, hindi ba't panawagan sa atin yon para tayo kumilos, para tayo mayroong gawin? Kapag ka nakita ninyo na inyong anak ay masyado ng suwail, walang pagrespeto, bastos, hindi ba't panawagan nyo sa magulang para rin kumilos 
at hindi ipag sa walang tabi yung kanyang masamang nasasaksihan. So maaari sinasabi ng Panginoon na huwag niyong bunutin ni masamang damo sapagkat sa buhay niya ito hanggang sa huli, tayong lahat ay may oportunidad na palaguin ang ating sarili. Tayong lahat ay inanyayahan na kumilos upang kung ano man ang kasamaan na maaari nating nakikita sa buhay niya ito, huwag nating sisihin ng iba, Tingnan natin ang ating sarili kung tayo'y may ginagawa o kung tayo'y nagkukulang sa hamon ng kasamaan sa buhay nito. Panalangin po natin na tayong lahat ay bihayaan ng Panginoon, bigyan ng kalinawan ng isipan at puso, pang sa ganun sa pang-araw-araw pa umuhay, ating makita ang ating sariling pagkakamali, ating sariling pagkukulang, at sikapin natin, hiling natin sa Panginoong Diyos na tulungan tayo upang maipa, maituwi ang mga bagay nito. Please all stand. Jesus Christ has taught us how to enter the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray for the coming of that kingdom, knowing that the Holy Spirit is within us, helping us to pray. Let our response be, God of goodness, perfect us in your way. God of goodness, perfect us in your way. That servants of the church may follow God's will and seek the good of those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, perfect us in your way. That those entrusted with dispensing justice and interpreting laws may look to Christ as source of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, perfect us in your way. That we may wait for God's harvest time and not pass harsh judgment on others. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, perfect us in your way. That the elderly may be sustained by our thoughtfulness and friendship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, perfect us in your way. That those who have died may be gathered into the harvest of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, perfect us in your way. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Lord of heaven and earth, Hear the pleas of your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which you bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries 
may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts of pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words of Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Oh, see. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called this supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilican Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pong pagkikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. 
our helps in the name of the Lord, who made the heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength to support our frailty. Turn with kindness to our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And lead us to our way to 